Miss McNeil leads six games to five. Final set. Well, all the pundits were saying this was going to be a close one, and for once, all the pundits have got it right. Nobody would pick a winner, and uh, it's not easy to pick one even now. Laurie will look just as if she's all set to go steaming ahead, and then Conchita manages to hang in. Laurie McNeil, sorry, Virginia, deep in thought. Time. When you have this one game lead in the final set, do you say to yourself, I want to really attack them to serve all the time? I think you try to be aggressive. Sometimes I think you decide to go for the shots and see what happens, and other times I think you have to decide to make your opponent play the ball. So that means just making sure you don't make an error. hits one of the off. most perfect approach shots there. It looked as if she'd have everything going her way to be beaten only by a great shot. Fifteen all. Still hasn't lost a single point when she's come to the net. 15 times she's advanced, 15 times she's won the point. Six games all. Still, we can't separate these two. Thank you. My place. Oh. 
Lot 15. Broke a string. Hardly the ideal time to be <laughs> testing out some new rackets. Played in the other one nicely for two hours and twelve minutes. One set all. Six all and fifteen all. That's up. Every point is very difficult right now. Laurie's a little reluctant to come in, or a little more reluctant, and one of the reasons is because she's not seeing the passing shot quite so well. 30 all. Two great backhands from Martinez gives her break points. She really went for the return and it came off. It wasn't all that clean, but she had options here and she chose the right one, hit it really hard. Martinez leads seven games to six, final set. Conchita Martinez, the third seed, now having served to save the match twice, has the opportunity to serve to win it. First essential, get the first serve in. Well, the last game she was uh, very tight on her serve. She was not serving very fast at all. Her first service percentage has been high, it's been close to 80%. She hasn't been hitting it nearly as hard as Laurie, and you can see her, that physically she even just looks as if she's moving in much slower motion on the shots just because her body is so tense. What she has succeeded in doing is when she's survived difficult situations like the Time. last game, she sort of made herself smile and ha have a little joke at her own expense. Her support group has been very carefully and often sort of grinning at her, trying to make her relax a little bit. So now is the big question for her. Love 15. There was just an agonizing moment where Laurie McNeil was pleading with the line judge to call it out. Love 
of 30. have a shot that of Laurie's it's so hard to hit a good overhead when you're as tight as this Despite the fact that she played a sort of negative backhand there and had to face Laurie on the rampage, she remembered how to hit a good forehand passing shot. Fifteen forty. Memory stir of uh, the final. A few years back, Gabriella Sabatini served for the match twice. So nervous she could hardly get the serve into court. Seven games all. Thank you. Quiet, please. Wait, please. Thank you. Martinez just asking uh, the crowd to settle down again. What an opportunity missed. Seven all. That's all. Just as I was admiring the volley of Laurie's, look how solid this is and low. She almost moved over as well. She didn't quite have it covered. The tension isn't showing in Laurie's play as much as it was in Conchita's. She's still doing the right thing, which is to be aggressive. Well, it really is extraordinary what nerves and tension can do to you, both of them pushing the ball, trying to steer it instead of hitting it. Very inhibited by the occasion now. Point here. 
Laurie did well to return that, and Conchita changed direction very well and threw in such a good passing shot. She's made something like 33 passing winners. Laurie without a first serve in this game, 30 all. this time in favor of the American and once more she's within one game of victory Laurie did very well in that game and as I said you know she's learned to overcome the tension she's always lived with nerves on the court and she's just learned to just stay in the point and play one point at a time on the other hand I think of Cheetah really just has got so tense and her problem is is that she can't get any easy points by her serve her serve is so much slower than Laurie McNeil's she's got to try Time. to be aggressive but without changing her game so much going to take a lot of guts from one of these players to close this match out. Seven, eight. Court is their tension. First love. Forty fifteen. Martinez just spinning the serve into action, into the play, and again, not hitting the ground strokes at all. Well, 
she's hit a few very good shots in this game, Eight and I'm sure all. she wonders why on earth she couldn't produce a service game like that the last time she served. But that's the way it is when it gets this close. A difficult shadow Thank coming you. onto the court as Thank well. You quite, please. Eight all. for a point. A difficult shot there for Martinez, Love but they, neither of them can really do anything with it. Finally, Conchita makes herself move forward. Love 30. turn was awfully good, but so was the pickup. She's running so hard that she can't think in advance. She can't look to see which way Laurie's gone. She just has to do what she can with the ball. 30 all. It's on the line. Way back at four all, she hit a miss hit return at 30 all, which gave her a break point. Martinez leads nine games to eight for a second Final time six. Conchita Martinez breaks and will serve for the match and although we have to be honest and say that the quality of play has not consistently matched that of the first semi-final because of the tension because of the situation because of the scoreline that now this has become a compelling contest well this is just a, a great duel there's so many elements in it more than just a tennis match of course, it's the occasion. Of course, it's the huge uh, drama of not having a Steffi Graf in this half of the draw, having had a wonderful giant killer in Laurie McNeil there, and somebody who has not won too many tournaments in her career, 30 years old, playing a much younger opponent who 
also time. Was, never thought that grass was her surface. So, so much to it. There's no way that there's going to be an easy finish to this match. Nine eight serving for the match. Fifteen, two match points. said to Conchita Martinez that she would be a Wimbledon finalist, she'd have given you a very funny look indeed. But it's come true. A tremendous tussle, David. It was not easy for either of them, and they fought tooth and nail, and in the end, Conchita just had one more backhand passing shot. Then Laurie had a winning volley. 